All right, today we're gonna go through and learn how to make a heated container for your baby goats or sheep or whatever you'd like to use it for. We're gonna use a 270, I think it's 275 gallon tote. Um, I took the lid off of it, took the insert out. All right, so I took a two by six board Put a handle on it, drill a hole through it, run some wire through it from an old extension cord, and so this is ground, and that's going to go just to um, the the base here. First, to get it secured, I am going to put all this together through here, put it through here, like so. We're just gonna have something solid to screw it to. So we can keep it all together. side to do the same thing. Right. Now it's all one solid piece. Easier to work with. Concept pretty simple. We're gonna hook up the negative po uh, positive and a ground. Ground like I said, it's just to ground it to this box. Now we have contact with the metal as a ground. This is just a simple uh, outlet. For a light bulb, we're gonna use it for a heat bulb. Um, so, once you get this put together, basically it's a chunk of wood with the lid, the hole drilled through the chunk of wood so that you can run your cord through. You got three wires. One is a negative, one's a positive, and one's a ground. So, to make this simple, we're going to have to ground up. Oops. <clears throat> Hopefully, this is good enough. <clears throat> one's, one's gold colored, one's silver colored. The silver colored one's going to go to the white wire. Gold one's gonna go to the to the black wire. This green one's gonna go to the ground. And what I'm gonna do, just make a little ground connection. Put a an actual connector on it. Crimp it on. We're going to screw that right to the box so that we have a nice ground connection. <clears throat> there we go. The ground's in there, connected like so. Now, white wire to silver. wires are probably a little thicker than they need to be, but <clears throat> wrap it around. 
on there, screw it in. Same thing on the gold one. Make a little loop like that. Wrap it around there. Make sure it's in there real tight. Screw that in. So with this box, <clears throat> you have these two screws that are going to go right up through these holes here. Make sure that's tight. Alright. So, pull some of this excess wire down back through. <clears throat> on there like that. Tighten these down so that it's held in place. So to make our connection here, our actual um, fixture is a keyless porcelain lamp holder base. Dollar seventy something at Menards, and then this is a basic electrical outlet box. Again from Menards, a few bucks, and then the container lid, which you just unscrew to take off. And then a two by six piece of wood and an extension cord, which you can build on your own. We took old extension cord, cut it off and put a new end on it. So that's all you really need for supplies. Now that we have everything assembled, basically I'm gonna put a light bulb in it You're going to screw it back into the container very carefully because obviously you have a lot of torque um, able to be put on this, which wouldn't be good for the bulb. <clears throat> so at this point, we're going to plug it in and make sure it works. All right, so here's our setup. Just wired it. Let's make sure that we did it right. Let's plug it in and find out. <laughs> Whoa, Jesus, that's bright. Sorry, that's very bright. So this single bulb will heat that entire container enough for the babies to be very comfortable. And you'll fit quite a few of them in there. So if you're interested in building this, um, follow our video and step by step. If you're interested in purchasing them, I was thinking that we'd start building them for people that are interested. Uh, message us or email us and uh, and we'll set you up get you a quote so the email will be in the description and uh, give us an email all right so what we're gonna do is cut the opening we're gonna cut the bars so that we can make a door I'm gonna cut the bars so that I can pound the sharp edges back around and then um, we'll probably use a hose to make it where it's a nice smooth edge all the way around. Then we'll make an inner cut on the plastic for the baby goats just to fit through. All right. Let's see how it goes.
Mr. Dangerous. Alright. That's scary. Let's see how it works. Alright. So, this one I want to break the world on. Which isn't working very good. <laughs> oh, you want me to move? No. So he cut the metal bars and it shall look like that. So now we're gonna try to. These aren't folding up as easy as I thought they would. I might have to sawzall them. Flush and then we can put the holes over it. We really don't want sharp edges here. Ah, <laughs> uh, that happened, guys. Curtis is a dangerous guy. Blade's just a little too long for whatever. I'm gonna grab a shorter blade and should make this a little easier. All right, I'll stay here. On the other note, there's Fluffy and her babies. Both her babies are eating grain. She's a very hungry, Mama. But both her babies are doing really good. Cuties, cuties. These are so shivery. Hey, how you doing? How you doing? <laughs> Cutie. Shorter blade. Should work a little better. Okay. Oh yeah, a lot better. knife to start our door and you're gonna stick this inside and figure out exactly how big you want it I'm gonna go and probably good knife again started exactly where I want it Fairly easy to cut. Probably cut it all the way with the knife if we wanted, but this is a little cleaner. door now we're gonna clean out the inside so we cut the hole we lined the sharp edges with an old garden hose just to kind of protect everything made the door small enough so only the baby's gonna be able to get in out of there so now the light that we built the assembly literally the light goes in the hole and this top screws right on like a normal lid. Screwed in there. That's what it will look like. Plugged in and baby's already interested. 
we just have a red lamp heat light in there. It's uh, a little dimmer than the regular light ones. And, All right, uh, go in there. Works very good. Go in there. So now the baby's got to get. Go in there. Got to understand that this is something that can, they can go into. Oh, I can't reach them. Oh, oh. <laughs> All right, number two, get in there, try it out, and then they'll realize that it's warm and they'll want to hang out in there. Now we can fit a large number of babies in here. Once the other moms start having their babies, they won't be crowded. So the nice thing about this box is it's large. Obviously, there's a lot of room in there. It contains a lot of heat. We only put one door in it so that there's no draft through there. So even if your farm is drafty, your barn is drafty, or even if you have this outside, it's not gonna have draft inside so the babies are safe. So it's kind of a perfect little hut. The hard part will be cleaning it out, obviously, because we only have the one entrance, but we have a small rake that we can use to slowly clean out and we'll just keep adding during this season. And uh, yeah, the babies will be happy and healthy and warm and um, leave comments, ask questions, whatever you guys want to do. Um, thank you to Randy. He sold us our original heat barrels that we used to use, the blue ones. And I took that and learned how to make these. And it works pretty good. Thanks for watching. And uh, keep watching to see the, these cute little guys grow up. There's going to be a lot more cute ones this season. And uh, please like and follow us and check us check our other videos out. And hopefully you find something good to watch. Aw, oh, I don't Aww. need my beard.